Okay, let's talk about diminished and augmented chords. The basis for our diminished and augmented chords is, are going to be major and minor chords. And make sure that you know major and minor chords because, well, your major chords are going to be your basis for all other kind of chords, okay? So we have our root, we have our root, we have our third, and we have our fifth, okay, represented with these colors. We have black as the root, red as the third, and blue as the fifth. We're going to start with augmented chords or triads as I also refer to them, a triad being a three note chord. So I'll use that term interchangeably. And to augment means to expand or increase. Okay, our augmented chords, to create an augmented chord, you take the top note of a chord when it's in root position and you'll move it up a half step and that's to the very next key. Your chord extension for an augmented chord is going to be AUG or it'll, or it'll be a plus sign. Okay, augmented triads also consist of two major third intervals. So between this note and this note is a major third, between C and E is a major third, between E and G sharp is a major third. Another way to look at that is to ask yourself, what is the third of a C major chord? It's E. And what is the third of an E major chord? It's G sharp. So that's another way to think about major thirds. Augmented chords create tension in music, which also adds interest. Think of it visually this way. We have a balloon. We're blowing air into this balloon, creating tension. And all of a sudden, someone does this. Okay? Releasing all of that tension. So that's a visual way to think about tension and release. Okay, here we have G major, and we're going to go from G major to G augmented. We're, again, we're going to take this top note, raise it up a half step, and we have G augmented. D major, raise this top note a half step, and now we have D augmented. This is a little different. Here we have the A major chord, and if we take this top note and raise it up half step, it's going to land on a white key, not a black key. So that's one of those beginner mistakes that a lot of people make when they're trying to build augmented chords. Um, you know, when you have uh, most of the time or a lot of the time you have the fifth or the augmented fifth on a black key. In this case, it's going to be on a white key. So there's A augmented. Here we have G flat major, and we're going to create an augmented chord. We just raise this top note our fifth up a half step and of course it lands on the augmented fifth lands on a white key. Inversions are those things that will throw you off because that's just rearranging the notes. Let's take a look at that. We've been working with chords in root position but what if we take this bottom note the C and we raise it up an octave? We have C in first inversion. Now the note that we're going to augment or raise up a half step is in the middle. Our fifth is in the middle when, in, when a chord is in first inversion. So uh, don't be thrown off by inversion. So here we have our C major or C augmented in first inversion. If we raise up the bottom note again, here we have second inversion. But again, here's our fifth. We're going to raise it up a half step. And it's going to very much well look just like what you see here. Okay, diminished chords. Diminished means to reduce or make smaller. The basis for our diminished chord is going to be a minor chord. And we're just going to take this top note here and we're going to lower it a half step instead of raise it like we did before. Diminished. Uh, the chord extension for diminished chords is going to be D-I-M or a minus sign. Also, diminished triads consist of two minor intervals, uh, excuse me, minor third intervals. So we have our root and our minor third. C, E flat is a minor third, E flat to G flat is a minor third. You can do that the same way that you did the augmented chords. Ask yourself, what is the the 
middle note or what is the second note in a C minor chord, Z flat and E flat and G flat. If a, a, an E flat minor chord, the root is E flat and the third is G flat. So you can do the same thing as you did with the augmented chords. Diminished chords also create tension and add interest. So let's use our balloon example like we did before. We're putting air in this balloon, creating the tension, but instead of popping it, we let all the air out of it. Now I know that uh, that's the best animation that I could come up with that. So it's just think of tension release, tension and release going the other way. Here we have G minor. We're going to create G diminished. We're going to take this top note, again, move it down a half step. We have G diminished. Now here we have F minor, and this is the same situation that we had creating an augmented chord out of the A major chord. We're going to take this top note, we're going to move it down, but again, it's not going to be the uh, diminished fifth is not going to be on a black key. It's going to be on a white key, so it's just going to look a little different. Let's take a look at these augmented and diminished chords on the keyboard. So you have C major, okay, raise the top note up which is the fifth up a half step, you have C augmented. F major, raise the top note up, which is the fifth, F augmented. G major. G augmented. So here we have A major. We're going to raise the top note up a half step and have A augmented. So are we going to this note here? Nope. Even though these other chords have an augmented fifth that's on a black key, this A has an augmented uh, note that's on a white key. So don't be thrown off by white keys and black keys. So here we have the A major, and then A augmented is not going to be this note here. It's going to be this note here. Okay? B major would be here, B augmented, okay? Also, don't be thrown off by inversions. Here we have a C major in first inversion that puts the root on top. So what note are we going to raise up a half step? Here's our fifth, okay? That creates a C augmented, but the C chord is in first inversion, so don't be thrown off by the fact that you have inversions. You're going to have notes that are going to be in a different order. Let's say we have B flat major, okay, and that's in first inversion also. So which note are we going to raise up? We're going to raise this F up a half step, and there we have the B flat augmented chord. Just as we did the augmented chords in an inversion, let's do a minor chord. C minor in first inversion, what note are we going to lower down a half step? This one here, this is our fifth, our fifth. C diminished. B minor. B diminished. Okay, so we have augmented and diminished chords, and let's just do a little musical sequence of these chords that progress and ascend. So we're going to start out with our C major chord, and I'm going to play the root of all of these chords again in my left hand just to make it a little more musical. So we have our C major chord, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to raise the fifth up, okay, create a C augmented chord, and then we're going to move to the next chord, which is going to be our F major chord, and that's going to put us right here, okay, F major for a second inversion because the root is in the middle and then we're going to raise the fifth up okay and then we're going to move from our F augmented to our G major chord okay then from G major to G augmented okay to the C major where we started okay okay now so if you'll notice that some of these chords uh, s smoothly transition into another chord, for example, here we have a C major, C augmented, 
and it pretty easily will transition to the F major chord. Why is that? Because every one of these notes, we're keeping the C, so we're not having to move that note anywhere, but these other two notes are just a half a step up, uh, below them. Here we're moving from E to F, and we're moving from A flat to the A. So, so we have our C augmented to the A. So I just wanted to mention that about these augmented chords. Descending, we're going to do this. We're going to move from our C major, all right, to our C minor. And then we're going to move from there to our G minor. Okay, I'm not, I could have moved to a G major, but I just didn't really want to do that. I wanted to sound a little more musical. And then we're going to move from the G minor to the G diminish. Okay. And from there to C major. Okay, to C minor. All right, remember we're lowering the third to F diminished because we've lowered our fifth here and then back to C. So this is what it would look like. Used in a chord progression, you could, and I'm, this is, I may play some, throw some sevenths in here, but it would sound a little something like this. Okay, so that would be more or less a, a more realistic chord progression that might include some diminished and augmented chords to get from one chord to the other. I want to send you the five step visual guide to learn how to play piano and keyboards with chords. It's very colorful, it's very illustrative, and I'll also send you a free subscription to the Color Notes eZine. Just click on the link in the description.